Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to clear cells based on cell value in Excel using VBA macros and we're gonna see several options and of course you can easily do that going to replace and replace whatever value you want to replace with nothing and that's that's probably the easiest way to do it. So we're gonna see how to do that also programmatically with VBA but we're also gonna see some other method. And as an example, I have here a table with a lot of data and it has some values that we may want to target and clear, like for example, null here, whatever it says null, we may want to clear that or, or, or zero. So there are, there are several examples here where we may want to clear the values in, in a table in Excel. Let's go now to the Visual Basic Editor. And the first macro is gonna be clear values method one. So we can set a target range and we can declare that as RNG, as range. And then that range can be whatever we want. It could be the selection, whatever we select in the worksheet, or it could be a particular column only, columns C, or it could be the entire range with data. In this case, let's, let's have it like that. So in the active sheet, we're gonna have the used range and that's gonna get the entire table with data we have here, right? And then we're gonna use the replace method of the range object. And this is different than the Excel replace or the VBA replace functions. And we're gonna replace, for example, let's replace whatever it says null with an empty string. So this would actually clear all these values here, right? Now, you can also have the longer version. Using the parameters, you see here what is the first parameter, which in our example above was null. Then the second, let's put it here, the second is the replacement. And again, in the example above, that was an empty string. So we are replacing with nothing. But then we can use other parameters such as look at to choose whether to look at only part of the string or the whole string. So that could be Excel part or Excel whole. So if we say Excel whole, it, apply, it needs to be that word. Another parameter here is search order. And this can be by rows or by columns. And then we also have the match case and this one is interesting because we can choose to we can choose to target only uppercase for example so if we set it to true but otherwise if we set it to false it could be lowercase uppercase it doesn't really matter okay so either this longer version or this shorter version is gonna clear the values whenever there is a null so if we run it and come back here you see it has already clear the values here wherever it was null. That's probably the easiest and fastest way to do it. It clears the cells almost instantly. But there are other methods to clear values. In the next video, we'll see how to clear values looping through each cell, which is less efficient and requires more computer power, but it has several advantages. For example, we could clear cells with values greater than or less than a certain number or based on a formula or other certain criteria or values or text with a given length, etc. Furthermore, using a loop allows to perform many other actions. So not just clear values, but maybe format the cells with the target value or copy or delete those cells. So this was a quick and simple macro to clear cells based on cell values in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.